<laughs> How's it going, everybody? I'm Jason Acuna, also known as Wee Man. My name's Ben Ashworth. My name is Laban Fidius. My name is Garth Ross. My name is Christian Svitak. I'm a professional skateboarder. Skateboarder, builder, artist. I do multiple things. I do a lot of things. The first thing I do is skateboard. Juggle. Movies. Swim in the ocean. In magazines. Eat lemons. And I've traveled the world all because of a skateboard. Welcome to my backyard. Skateboarders are the only people that can fail constantly, all day. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And make it once and be the happiest person in the world. What you think is gonna happen never happens. So you're forced to improvise. You're in, you're in an alley, you have a, a kicker ramp, or you're in this super fresh backyard that's, you know, a backyard indie skate park. Um, whatever the circumstances are, skateboarders find a way to make something new. Where people I know fail at one thing and totally just give up. Like, nope, I'm done. Whole world's over, I'm out of here. Skateboarding involves risk and we've been, for some reason, attracted to uh, the risk of skateboarding and that's embedded in our life to the point where you know, we take risks. And, um, and we're not scared of failing. We keep trying, we keep getting back up and making stuff. And it gets even more interesting when you're meeting up with factions from other parts of the city that have their own terrain and that movement vocabulary that they're developing. And they got different style and you pick up one you're like, oh shit, I skate like a robot. I that dude doesn't, he's got flow. And skateboarders are always making something, they're, they're literally generating culture out of what's present because of skateboarding and music travel a lot so you get the opportunity to be in all these different countries and be with people from all kinds of backgrounds, religions, whatever and uh, yeah, there's a wealth of knowledge to be had, you know. It's kept me grounded, so yeah. I started skateboarding, well I kind of always had a skateboard around in the garage when I was a little kid. So I grew up in San Diego and I always had a skateboard. Uh, my and uncle Jay actually it. built a, a board in shop class in the 60s and I found it at my grandma's house and it had uh, clay wheels with uh, oh, metal bearings and they were totally seized so the board wouldn't roll. I just stood on it. I was at like the, the traveling the carnival that comes to town every year. I was at that and uh, I was walking by a picnic table and there was a bunch of older guys there and those guys saw me carrying my little like toy store skateboard and they called me over to their table. Those guys uh, they had a little crew called Team Insanity. They invited me to go skate with them. Uh, they taught me my first tricks and they gave me my first punk rock tape. So July 2nd, 1988 was my turning point in my life. To think of skateboarding alone as skateboarding culture is really taking away out of context because media production has always been part of skateboarding whether it was zines and still photos way back in the day to music has also always been a part of skateboarding so you know the photography the filmmaking the music the building also with all of these other creative individuals that are all not fitting into the box and being told no you're not supposed to do that here so that's the dense core of what skateboarding is is basically I'm not going to follow any rules It's like the, uh, my favorite trick is the no comply. A curb is meant to stop you. No comply makes you go over this thing that's designed to stop you, so you can completely turn that thing on its head. I don't know, there's so much, like, the, the one I did feeble on that was that wall one where I put my board over. I love trying to see different things I can do that on. Oh, you yeah. don't know what a no comply is? I have is. no idea. Oh, wow. I do it from curbs to walls to brick banks to anything. Is throwing a feeble. Who invented the no comply? That, I bet that predates the Ollie. You just mash against yeah. it and it bounces up. When we're walking out in the streets, we look at the environment differently than everyone else. We see stairs differently, ledges differently, curbs differently, handrails differently, 
gaps differently. Every little thing we're looking at it is like, what kind of things, how can we skate that? So really, if I just break it down, man, that, just the feeling of rolling on my skateboarding, it, it, just down the street is, that's the best. You know what I mean? That's, that's the thing that I hope I can do until I'm dead, you know, until I'm an old man. I hope I can at least do that. Um, all the tricks are just filling in the spots in between, you know, but just riding my skateboard, just feeling it under my feet, that, that, that movement, I think that's, that's gotta be the best for me, you know. Oh yeah, baby. No comply, flip. You probably did it properly. No comply, flip. No comply, flip. Oh my god.